Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about three different ways that you might use a sensor in your robot petting zoo animal. You might make a robot that responds when you pet it. You might make a robot that responds when you feed it. Or you might make a robot that responds when you get close to it, like so. See how the chameleon turned pink when I got close? We're gonna take a look at each of these to learn how to build with a sensor. Let's start with our pettable robot which we made into a fish. So in this robot, you can see that there's something on the top of our robot. It kind of looks like an LED, but it's not. This is actually a light sensor. So when I block the light, that is what is triggering the sequence of events which involves the mouth opening and the eyes turning angry. It's a light sensor that's triggering all of that. To take a little closer look at that, I made a little pet me prototype. So. Uh, you can see that it's just a piece of cardboard, and if I open it up here, I cut an X in my piece of cardboard, I inserted the light sensor, wires first right through there, and then to secure it to the cardboard, I just cut a hole in a piece of tape. You could also use a hole puncher, and I just taped it right down. And now that could go on the head of your animal, on the back of your animal, wherever you would want it to be pet. When you have it plugged into a hummingbird and programmed, it will initiate your robot to do something. Let's take a look at our feedable robot next. So the squirrel, when I insert a piece of paper, which I call robot food, into her mouth, that uh, triggers her tail to move. So let's take a look inside of the squirrel to see how she's made. There we go. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can see a little bit more here. So there's a really good close-up on the green LED and the light sensor pointing right at each other. And to zoom out just a little bit, now you can see how it fits into the whole project. So when I block the light coming from that LED going into the sensor, that's what initiates the tail to move. So let me show you another version of this same um, setup that I did using a cup. So in this cup version, I've got an LED inserted in one side. I just cut an X in my cup and inserted the LED wires first. And a light sensor on the other side that I just cut an X in my cup, inserted the light sensor wires first, and then taped it in place just like I showed you. And you could even incorporate this cup into the design of your robot as well. This could be a beak or a snout or something like that. Or you could put a, a setup like this behind the front face of your robot as well. So there's another way that you might interact with a robot petting zoo animal. To take a look at the last one, with the chameleon, when I get close to the chameleon, it turns pink to blend in with the flower behind it. Let's take a look at how to use a distance sensor in a project. So in this version here, to incorporate a distance sensor, you might cut a hole that's just big enough for the silver cylindrical pieces or the silver circles to poke through your cardboard, but not big enough that the backing of the distance sensor um, goes through. So you want that to stay behind. And then you can just tape that in place, right? So with these three examples, I'll put them all together so you can see them each. You could program a robot that responds when you pet it, a robot that responds when you get close to it, or a robot that responds when you feed it, and you can make some really cool robot petting zoo animals. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how to program your sensor to initiate the actions of your robot petting zoo animal. I can't wait to see you there.